There's a trending discussion on TikTok amongst believers about the thorn in Paul's side. Now, amazingly, amazingly, there are some believers out there that believe that believers in Christ, Holy Spirit filled believers in Christ can have demons. And their go-to verse or their go-to claim is Paul and this thorn in his side. So let's go look at the text before I continue. Let's go look at the text. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 7. So to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. This thorn. So what is this thorn that Paul speaks of, this messenger of Satan? The English Standard Version is my, my um, version or translation of choice. You know, I, I read the NASB, the CSB, but for the most part, for most of my study, I read the ESV. And throughout the ESV, the word thorn is mentioned 52 times throughout the Old and New Testament. And at least eight, time in, eight times in the ESV was the word thorn used to describe people that caused problems, that were irritants, that caused continual annoyances. So let's go look at those eight scriptures. This is Numbers chapter 33, verse 55. But if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then those of them whom you let remain shall be as barbs in your eyes and thorns in your sides. And they shall trouble you in the land where you dwell. This is Joshua chapter 23, verse 13. Know for certain that the Lord your God will no longer drive out these nations before you, but they shall be a snare and a trap for you, a whip on your sides and thorns in your eyes until you perish from off this good ground that the Lord your God has given you. This is Judges chapter 2 verse 3. So now I say, I will not drive them out before you, but they shall become thorns in your sides, and their God shall be a snare to you. 2 Samuel chapter 23 verse 6. But worthless men are all like thorns that are thrown away for they cannot be taken with the hand worthless men hmm. interesting this is ezekiel chapter 2 verse 6 and you son of man be not afraid of them nor be afraid of their words though briars and thorns are with you and you sit on scorpions be not afraid of their words nor be dismayed at their looks, for they are a rebellious house. This one should definitely found, sound familiar to y'all. You know what I mean? This is the parable of the, you know, of the seed sower. You know, Matthew 13, verse 22. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and prove it and it proves unfaithful hmm. and this luke chapter 8 verse 14 is still the same parable um but for the sake of the video let's go and for what fell among thorns they are those who hear but as they go on their way they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life and their fruit does not mature so based on those examples of thorns you know um it's safe to say that 
the thorn that's in Paul's side, the thorn that was irritating Paul, were people. And how do we know this? Well, the context starts in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. So we're going to look at verses 5 and we're going to look at verses 13 through 15. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 5. Indeed, I consider that I am, I am not in the least inferior to these super apostles. And this is 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 13 through 15. For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for if Satan disguises himself as an angel of light, so it is, it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as, the, as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. So what is the thorn in Paul's side? Who is this messenger from Satan that is causing harm to Paul? It is these super apostles, these false apostles, these deceitful workers, these messengers of Satan. They're false apostles. They're not demons. So why, you might ask, why would God allow them to be an irritant to Paul? Well, the answer is in the text. A messenger of Satan to ha harass me. Why? To keep me from becoming conceited. To keep him from, to keep him humble. To keep him humble, to keep him from becoming conceited. God allowed that thorn to stay in Paul's side, that irritant. He allowed it to be there to keep him humble. You know what I mean? You got to understand, Paul was a high-ranking uh, Pharisee that was discipled by Gamaliel, another high-ranking Pharisee. You know, he was a very knowledgeable at the law, at the Torah. So in order to keep him humble, in order to uh, for God to be able to still use Paul, he removed any self-sufficiency that might arise so that, you know, he could still be used. You know what I'm saying? He wanted Paul to stay humble. So the thorn in Paul's side was not a demon. That messenger of Satan was not a demon. It was the false teachers, false apostles, super apostles. As the scriptures say, you know, what I'm saying here on this page, we allow the Bible to preach and teach God's people. So let's become like the noble Bereans in Acts 17, 11. They search the scriptures to see that this is true. And don't just take my word for it. Search those scriptures that I listed out in this video to see if it's true. Grace and peace.